Hi, Leather Rock here. Welcome to my channel. Today I have something special. I just got back from Dollar Tree and I have a beauty haul to show you. Let's get to it. Well, one of the things I got was actually not necessarily beauty products, but I really like uh, to read autobiographies. You really can learn a lot about a person's journey and get some ideas on how to be more successful in life, depending on the kind of books you read. And at Dollar Tree, they had Gretchen Carlson's autobiography called Getting Real, and I'm pretty sure I saw something about it on Fox News Channel. And since, you know, she used to be a Miss America at one time, and which I actually didn't know, even though I would think that I would know about that sort of thing. But anyway, just one other reason why I'm rather curious to read the book, and I've already started reading it. So, and I didn't realize that they had books at Dollar Tree, because usually I go straight for the frozen foods and for the makeup. So... I am really happy with the goodies I got. Now, this is supposed to be a blush, but the reason why I got this is because I'm going to use it as an eyeshadow. And this is from a company called Beauty Benefits. Um, and this blush, the color is supposed to be crimson, but I took a look at this and I thought right away that this reminded me of an eyeshadow by a really expensive designer that I believe they wanted 20 something or 30 something just for one eyeshadow which I think is ridiculous and because this is supposed to be a blush it's in a nice big tin this will probably last me 10 years and I really like the color it's got just the slightest hint of a satiny sheen to it so it's not totally flat and matte and I really, really, really like the color. Now this is from LA Colors and this is a matte eyeshadow mini palette. And I already opened it up to give you a closer. I don't absolutely love, love, love these colors, but I like them well enough and for a dollar. I think it was worth it. This is a powder foundation from the brand Aziza and that is a blast from the past. I remember Aziza lipsticks and lip glosses from my high school days and it's glad to see that the company is still around. And this color is called Jasmine Tea which I think is kind of an odd color for a foundation color but hey who am I to say and the price you certainly can't beat take a look at this mini eyeshadow palette is this not adorable and this is from wet n wild and the color is called floral values and I'm going to take it out of the packaging when I saw the purple shades, I knew I absolutely had to have it. And this has one, two, three, four, five colors in it. So you can get at least two looks out of this. I got a mascara from Aziza. I'm not going to actually take the brush out or anything, but I am going to show at least what the product looks like. I hope this is decent. I'm sure not in the mood to be spending ten dollars for a mascara. So now this is a Color Mates eyeshadow palette and I right away really like the greens and it has a metallic blue that I really like. It's kind of kind of dark and it's kind of bright and it's kind of frosty.
What do you think? Can't wait to check this out. Oh, got a couple more of these crease brushes that Wet n Wild puts out. I really like these a lot. They're kind of on the big side, but they really do dig in well inside the crease. And uh, I wanted to, when I get a eye, uh, an eyeshadow brush, sometimes I wish I had more than one of them, so I now have three of these. Because I always wash my brushes after every use. Except for my highlight brush. I tend to let that go a week maybe because I don't think that you have as much of a problem with the staining of uh, eyeshadows. Uh, here is a Color Mates Compact Makeup, a cream makeup. And the reason why I got this is because this kind of reminds me of a cream makeup that I used to get from Physicians Formula when I still lived in Hollywood full time. So, even though the color looks a little on the dark side, I actually opened up one and they look darker than they actually are. And you certainly can't beat the price. So this is another one of those eyeshadow brushes. Now I got another grapeseed face mask. These are a little bit more expensive because usually the face masks you get two for a dollar. And this there's only one in the package. But I applied one of these once before and I really liked the way it made my skin feel afterwards. And with all these antioxidants, I would think that this would be good to put on in the morning before you do your other skincare and then you put your uh, sunscreen on top of it. Because if you use antioxidants that's supposed to help to make your sunblock even more uh, effective. And I care a lot about my sunblocks working for me. I got another one of those palettes because I thought it was so adorable, why not have two of them? And I got another mascara, another Wet n Wild mascara. That I'm going to take a chance that because it has such a nice big brush, maybe it'll be halfway decent. They had some more LA Colors mascaras and formulations that I haven't tried before, but I decided not to take my chance on them because I would just as soon I think Wet n Wild has better formulas for their mascaras than LA Colors do. But I'm sure it all depends on the formula. It's another one of their foundations. Now this is a, a twist up um, eyeliner from Color Mates. This looks to me like a knockoff of the Avon. Uh, they have a twist up, uh, they're called Glimmer Sticks. They're, they're black and different colored uh, eyeliners. And they're really, really skinny and you twist up. And this is another twist up. So you don't need to shape it, shape, uh, sharpen it. And it's already got kind of a nice pointy. But it's soft enough that you can still use it in the waterline. And this isn't half bad. I, I wore it yesterday and it stayed put didn't run on me. I got myself another lipstick from Aziza. Now this is interesting. They packaged this with, you have a choice of two covers on it. You can use a see-through cap or you can use a black cap. I don't know why they're giving you an option on there because I think that person would always want something see-through. And I really like red lipsticks. And uh, it doesn't have any funny aftertaste, which is a dead giveaway that, that your lipstick has been sitting around too long. I got another Wet n Wild lipstick. This is a neutral, and I will swatch it for you. This color is Breeze C531C. It looks very beige, metallic. When I actually put it on, you probably aren't going to see, but when I put it on, it's 
it looks almost like a frosty pale gray whereas it looks more like beige on my wrist I'm still trying to experiment and find out what new lipsticks look best on me I really do prefer a much darker or a much brighter lip color as a rule but I do like having options okay this is elf flawless face powder in the color ivory and I knew that I wanted to get a powder that I could do use for baking under my eyes like to set my concealer and it looks like hopefully it will be light enough for me it's oh and it comes with a, a, a powder puff also I really don't use very much powder at all because powder tends to make my face feel kind of cakey and also because my skin's kind of oily I think it kind of looks too cakey looking when I apply it over foundation but I imagine I could if I do a much lighter application it should do pretty well and ELF that's a good company okay I think that is it I had a couple of duplicates I didn't see bringing them out because you already saw them before I'm pretty happy with that I that's over twenty dollars worth of makeup products and skincare products at Dollar Tree this to me is a much better deal than those subscription services that cost between 10 and 20 dollars a month and you're not sure what you're getting at least if you go to a store like dollar tree you get exactly what you want and you get the same price and it seems to me that's a better deal okay if you like this video you should give it a thumbs up if you like me and my content i'd love to have you subscribe and when you do hit that bell notification that way you know when i put new content out i put new videos out every tuesday Thursday and Saturday unless I'm having computer problems. So, hope to see you soon. Till then, talk to you later. Bye.